What is going on RWA faithful? It's Michael Fletcher. How, how's everybody doing on this beautiful afternoon? Well, here we are again. It's another Friday uh, here in East Providence, Rhode Island. And tonight, it's going to get hot. That's right. RWA is back with another live taping of their hype show that you normally can get to see on YouTube.com. And it's definitely becoming... Very exciting for RWA fans because of the fact that now they are on the stretch run for the biggest event of the year, Legacy. Uh, Legacy is actually going down about one month from now from Warwick, Rhode Island at the Thayer Arena in West Warwick, Rhode Island, I should say. And tonight, this is going to be one of their last stops before they get to the big card. And it is an eight-card lineup tonight. And, and in the majority of the way, there's actually going to be some tag team competition. Uh, tag team galore, as we would like to say. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to give you my thoughts about each fight tonight. And we're going to start it off with Mr. Sterling going one-on-one -on -one with Izzy Star. Now, Mr. Sterling, many people know him as a member of the International Men of Honor. Uh, he was definitely, he's definitely a brute juggernaut type of individual and he definitely has an opportunity to definitely raise up in the ladder uh in rwa ranks you know and win might put him in contention maybe sometime down the line for maybe a hype championship title shot or uh a triple crown title you never know uh with rwa nowadays so mr sterling goes up against an up uh, a rising newcomer Izzy Star, I don't know much about Izzy Star because he is too new for me. So I can't wait to see what he brings to the table. I can't wait to see what Izzy is all about. Uh, definitely, definitely a proving ground moment for Izzy Star as he goes up against Mr. Sterling tonight. The next fight on the card is another debut. Uh, Eric Dolan is going up against the amazing... Michael Santana, one-on-one. -on -one. Mike Santana, we already know what he brings to the table, folks. This man went from referee to wrestler and did at a time was the RWA tag team champion with his, with his partner in crime, Frank the Crank. Unfortunately, Frank is not here. Uh, he actually went, he's actually out of the country. Uh, believe it or not. So Mike Santana is on his own tonight. He's going to be flying solo, which is fine. You know, he's a, an amazing singles co competitor. And for Eric, he, br debut, first time ever. He's making his, his opportunity. He was probably a graduate of the RWA training school. They do train every Monday and Wednesdays. Uh, at the chop shop, he's a probably a chop shop trainee. Worked his way up, probably through the independent circuit. Now he's in the big time, going up against a very good and proven superstar, and the amazing Michael Santana. Can't wait to see this fight. This could be a sleeper fight in the night, folks. I, I'm just gonna say that. The next fight on this card, a non-title match. Triple Ishes goes one on one with. The pretty one of the Abruzzi family, Cipriano Abruzzi, of course, the beautiful Abby Knox will be in the corner of Sip in this battle. Now, Cipriano Abruzzi has gone through a lot in the last few months in RWA. You know, he had a rivalry with the RWA Triple Crown Champion, uh, the Unbalanced Messiah Christopher Dozier. There was a lot of bad blood between the two of them. They finally got to blow that rivalry off. Now he's going one-on-one -on -one with Tripolicious. And who knows? A victory tonight over Tripolicious could make him the number one contender for the RWA Hype Championship. And who knows? If, if that happens, I'm no matchmaker. I'm no booker. But I'll, I'm going to call it out right now. And I hope RWA management's listening to this. If Cipriano wins tonight, I would have this fight, let them fight at Legacy in West Warwick, Rhode Island, at the, at the Thera Arena, and let these two go at it 
for for what I believe is is one of the most richest prizes in RWA, the hype championship. Normally, when you're the hype champion, that normally propels you as a stepping stone to possibly become the RWA Triple Crown Champion. And we'll wait and see what happens. So let's see what goes down there. Interesting fight tonight. A big man fight. A be a man fight is what I expect that this fight will be tonight. So with that said, let's move on to the next one. An interesting situation going down because we got the first of many fights tonight that will determine the next number one contender for the RWA Tag Team Championship. The first fight we got is the Dynasty going up against Team Mac Attack. And this one's going to be interesting to watch. Did both teams look like they're ready to go. They look like they're very, uh, very motivated to say the very least. But for Team Mac Attack, extra motivation for them being former tag team champions. They want to get back to the to the top of the mountain again. They want to get back and get a shot at the heavy hitters who are currently the reigning defending tag team champions. Let's see what happens in this in this battle. This one's an exciting fight to say the very least. So let's just move on to the next fight, which is another uh, tag team title number one contender tournament match. The influence, uh, the ace Mike Monchero and Jason Levine to go up against Jamie Tucker and Little Daddy Bravo. This one here, this is again the influence. Many people know them really well. They were so successful as singles wrestlers. They they meshed as a tag team and they've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, scratching and clawing, trying to get their chance to go after the tag team championship. Either they get close and fail or uh, I'm just going to say, say it. Authority shenanigans. Management screws them over. They don't get an opportunity at the belt. And they now, without a doubt, they're looking for an opportunity. Wanting a shot at the gold. And now they got to go through this tournament to try to get there. Can they do it? Very possible. We'll wait and see what happens. But remember, when you got a young, up-and-coming team like Tucker and Bravo, they're... they're they're just there to pull a surprise, to pull an upset, to, to possibly in their mind say, hey, we deserve a shot. It's time for the old guard to step aside. Let some new blood get in here. This could be that moment. We'll wait and see what happens tonight in that fight. The next fight of the night. All right. Get ready for a battle. Jack Connor going one-on-one -on -one with David Baker. This one is basically another battle. Jack Connor, a lot of people believe, is probably right there, right in the mix of possibly being in the Triple Crown Championship conversation, of course. We know who the number one contender is, and we'll get to him in a little bit. But if for some reason... Um... The champion remains the champion if Christopher Dozier does remain the Triple Crown champion after Legacy. This man might be the number one contender, the next number one contender. And I'm talking about Jack Connor and David Baker. What is there to say? Rough, tough, brutal, beatdown type style, a ground and pound type attitude. One of the hardest choppers in the game. And when I mean hardest choppers, man, I got to see him live at Thanksgiving Throwdown when he was in that Battle Royale. And my God, the chops that I was hearing. I I got to see the chest of the ace Mike Montero. This guy lit him up. I mean, you could see the palm prints on Montero's chest. That's how bad those chops were. I, 
Connor, you gotta avoid the chops. If you eat one, man, you're gonna be hurting. I hope you're ready for that. I hope you're ready for that rough and tough style. That's gonna be a fight to, to see tonight. It's gonna be unbelievable as well. Of course, the next fight of the night we got is another uh, tag team title, no one contender tournament match. Chris Cruz and Amanda Fox versus Just Dick. This one's actually interesting. Chris Cruz and Amanda Fox, two very decorated, very, very good uh, uh, superstars in their own right. Chris Cruz, a former hype champion uh, in his own right. Amanda Fox, probably one of the most successful women's fighters that we've had. A former junior heavyweight champion in RWA. And I believe she's also a former uh, hype champion as well. I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. Uh, but the one thing that they that I know they would love to be would be tag team champions. Uh, they are definitely bright and they're they're probably two of the of the most respected guys i love their body of work on um, both of them uh just alex just dick like i said a new tag team but they're they're trying to get better on this one and of course the odd man in this one is of course mr cobble pot dr cobble pot you never know what he's gonna bring to the table you know, there he's already constructed some very good things. If you've seen his vlogs, it, it's awesome. I, I get a good kick out of him and total enjoyment, to say the very least. So this will be a very interesting tag team fight. Whoever wins that, they might be semifinal bound. They might be going into a triple threat fight, and then who knows? A uh, winner goes for. The, the tag team titles at Legacy. We'll wait and see what happens there. And of course, the main event. Bad blood all the way around on this one. Two main fights that's going to be at Legacy. Two main battles that is being merged into one colossal tag team main event. The champion. The RWA Triple Crown Champion. The Unbalanced Messiah. Christopher Dozier. And his tag team partner, Tom Billington, to go up against Big Daddy T. Phoenix and the Mind Eraser, the number one contender for the RWA Triple Crown Champion and former RWA Triple Crown Champion, Mike Grassa. This one is, like I said, bad blood galore. Grassa won the right. To be the number one contender, a few about a couple of months ago, he gets his opportunity at Christopher Dozier at Legacy inside the confines of a steel cage that just got announced this week. It was it was originally just one on one uh, for the title. They just added an extra element to the fight. Now it's inside the cage. Oh man, is what I say about that. If that doesn't get you to buy tickets for a legacy, nothing will. And then, of course, the rivalry between Big Daddy T. Phoenix and Tom Billington. It goes like this. This started all the way back about a year ago when T. Phoenix turned his back on Tom Billington, helping the heavy hitters win the tag team titles. After that, a little bit of some back and forth battles were going at it. And then... A weird occurrence happened. Tom Billington got basically got. I don't know if it was brainwashed. I don't know if JJ Sphere got in his ear, but he told him something and it brought a different side of Tom Billington out, a more evil side of Tom Billington out. He went from the hooligan, the happy go lucky. Crazier than a nut, drunk all the time, drunken stupor all the time, to a vicious, vengeful, basically didn't give a damn about any recourse or any repercussions. He was going to destroy at will. He went from the happy-go-lucky to almost a terror, a killer 
instinct type Tom Billington we saw. And now, with Legacy about a month away, these two teams are going to go at it. It's going to be fireworks galore tonight at the RWA Hype Show. If you are not there, then you're going to have to, you, you got to wait and see for it. Hopefully, it will be on YouTube soon enough. If you are there, get ready. Yo, go get a, go get something from the championship melt. Uh, the truck will probably be there. Get, you know, your, your grilled cheese sandwich. Get whatever, sodas, whatever. Get ready for a fight. Get ready for a war tonight. And that's what I'm expecting it to be. Bad blood all the way around. It's going to be a thing of beauty. And it's going down tonight. So with that said, like I said, I will be in the house. I will be at the RWA show. Um, I will be taking photos. I do have my Samsung Galaxy 5 right here. I'll be pulling that out, taking some photos, maybe drawing a couple of videos. I'll post that on my on my site. You know, either I'll do it on Instagram, I'll do it on Facebook, on Twitter. Anyway, I will do it. I'll be there tonight. I'm in, I'll be in the house. Can't wait to be there. Uh, special shout out to all the guys at the RWA. Can't wait to see you guys tonight. With that said, I'm Mike Fletcher. Stick around. I'm going to have a special video momentarily. Uh, basically, the guys are Strictly Sports. We're going to talk about a lot of the stuff that's going down tonight. I'm going to do something real special for you guys. You know, go brief about it. With that said, I'm Mike Fletcher. Hugs and hand pounds. We out. See you guys tonight at the RWA show. And goodbye for now.